what's going on guys, this is Neo Auto, and today we're going to be talking about the new Camaro ZL1 1LE. Now this car was just announced this past Friday at the Daytona International Speedway, but it's got a lot of people scratching their heads. Where's the Z28 that everybody was talking about? And why wasn't the 1LE package announced sooner? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to shed some light on the new ZL1 1LE, and hopefully at the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of what's going on. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off, what is the Camaro ZL1? Well, quite simply, it's the most powerful Camaro that has ever been released by Chevy. The ZL1 comes with a 6.2 liter supercharged LT4 V8, and it produces 650 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. To put that in perspective, the current SS makes 455 horsepower, so this is a good 200 horsepower above the regular SS. Now one thing to keep in mind is that we've known about the new ZL1 for quite some time, but the car wasn't released until the end of 2016, so there's not a lot of them on the roads right now. And to make matters even worse, a lot of the people that ordered the car last year are still waiting on it. Hopefully it won't be long until they start showing up at dealerships. So like I said before, the ZL1 was announced last year and was released late last year. It's an amazing car and I'm sure the people that ordered it are gonna love it. But Chevy has been holding a secret from us this whole time. <laughs> On February 24th, 2017, Chevy announced the ZL1 1LE. The car was revealed at the Daytona International Speedway. It's a great looking car, but how is it different than the regular ZL1? Well, first off, the 1LE comes with an extreme track package. The package allows the car to handle even better on the racetrack. The stock 285 width tires have been replaced with 305s in the front and 325s in the rear. As a matter of fact, Chevy says that these are the widest tires to ever appear on a factory Camaro. The next big change is the race-inspired splitter and dive planes. The new splitter and dive planes weren't available on the previous ZL1, and let me be the first to say they look excellent on this new model. It makes the car look even more aggressive. But obviously, these changes were made not for looks. These new pieces work together to give the car more downforce, which results in better traction. But they didn't stop there. They also added a carbon fiber rear wing, which will help to create even more downforce. Another thing about the 1LE is that it will only be equipped with a 6-speed manual. So for those of you wanting the 10-speed automatic, you're gonna have to get the regular ZL1. The same thing was done when Chevy released the Z28. It was only available in a manual. And speaking in which, where is the Z28? Over the past year, there's been several videos uploaded of the supposed Z28 Camaro. There were shots of it on the streets, the racetrack, and even a video of it crashing. And they say Mustang owners are bad drivers. Well, after last Friday's announcement, it's pretty clear that this was never a Z28. This car was simply the ZL1 1LE in camouflage. So you may be wondering, why doesn't Chevy just call this car the Z28? Well, the reason is Z28s of the past have always been naturally aspirated, and the ZL1 1LE is equipped with a supercharged V8 engine. Even though it's a track-worthy car, it can't be deemed a Z28. To further put the nail in the coffin, Chevy told us to consider the ZL1 1LE as the successor of the Z28. Now, this doesn't mean that there will never be another Z28. It just means that the ZL1 1LE is the best they have to offer right now. And to be honest, I don't have a problem with that. Although I'm usually more impressed with a naturally aspirated car, I'm even more impressed that we have a Camaro with a supercharged V8 that can handle incredibly well on the track. Although pricing for the 1LE package hasn't been announced yet, people are guessing it's going to be around 10 grand. That would put the ZL1 1LE around 70 to 80 thousand dollars. Now, will that be worth it to people? I would say so. I mean, if you're going to spend that much money on a sports car, you'd be better off to spend the extra 10 grand because every time you run into another car enthusiast, they're going to say, is it the 1LE? And you're going to say, no. Now, I'm not putting down the ZL1. I'm just saying if I was in the position to buy one of these cars, I would want to get the ZL1 1LE. Not only is there an improvement in the looks, it's also faster than the regular ZL1. After being tested at GM's Proving Grounds, the ZL1 1LE was a whole three seconds faster than the regular ZL1. That may not sound like a lot, but believe me, it's a big difference. 
Now, in the defense of the regular ZL1, there's nothing stopping owners from making changes to it to make it more track-worthy like the 1LE. I mean, both cars are powered by the same supercharged V8, and with a few modifications here and there, who knows, maybe someone could make a ZL1 that could stand up to the 1LE. It's going to be really neat to see these cars in person, and I'm sure they're going to be a thrill to drive. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Have a great day. <laughs>